Perhaps you haven't received blessings because you've been seeking for them in the wrong places. The good news is that God will guide your actions in such a way that they land you in the proper place to reap the benefit. Yes, in Jesus' name, Amen. Failure and disappointment are unavoidable occurrences in the absence of the Holy Spirit's direction. When God leads your path, you will be guided to the location of your rewards. The reason we struggle is because we are not at the right place at the right time. As a result of the above-mentioned scenario, things get more difficult for us. It is impossible to go in the path of your blessings without being directed by God. Without God's direction, it's conceivable to be in the right place at the wrong time or even to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. However, in the name of Jesus, I decree that this will not be your lot. In Jesus' name, Amen. We must know that God cannot lead someone who refuses to heed his instructions. When it comes to fulfilling God's commands, the Bible is a great resource. Abraham is a fantastic example of this. God commanded Abraham to go from his father's house and travel to a place that he would reveal to him. It is typically not recommended to start a journey without knowing where you are heading. The fact that God's statements were counterintuitive did not deter Abraham from obeying them. It is possible that you will not be able to hear the Lord's voice until you learn to let go of your human comprehension. God has shown an interest in being a part of your life. Because he was aware of your existence prior to your conception, he had already planned out a plan for your life before you were ever born. The problem is that many of us aren't sure where we are heading, and if you do not heed the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you may lose out on your rewards. I pray for you in Jesus' name. May God will lead your ways from this day forward, so that your blessings will come to pass. Amen. If you refuse to allow God to direct your steps, there's a significant possibility you'll never make it to the promised land. Take a look at what happened to the Israelites. A journey that was scheduled to take 40 days turned into a 40-year agony because they refused to listen to the Lord's word. But still, the Lord directed them to their goal, which was a land flowing with milk and honey, even if what they did. So it doesn't matter whatever aspect of your life you're concerned about. God is interested in every aspect of it. Don't wait until you have been defeated before you allow God to interfere in your life. It makes no difference how many times you try until you eventually succeed. If God is guiding your actions in this life, your results will certainly be wonderful. Let's take the case of Simon and his brother for an example. They were born into a family of fishermen. These individuals are expert in their field since they have spent years practicing. Despite this, they were unable to catch a single fish on one particular day. Despite fishing from sunrise to night, they couldn't catch anything. Then Jesus came into the picture. He told them to go fishing and cast their nets into the water. Then Peter told Jesus that it had been difficult catching a fish, but they did not abandon God's commands. And suddenly the harvest came and their boat started to sink. So they called in reinforcements from their friends. As a result, maybe your life's events have been rendered insignificant. God is aware of this and he will step in. Everything changes when Jesus appears. Permitting him to steer your actions will be really beneficial to you. Your mind will be blown away by the things God will accomplish and the places he will take you in life. So, you must first place your faith in God in order for him to lead your steps to the location where your rewards are. To begin, you must abandon your previous immoral habits. As a result of our sin, we are cut off from the Father's endless love for us. I want you to know that the Lord will forgive you of any and all of your sins because he does not want you to perish. Many of us have found it hard to live a clean and honorable life in this wicked world. But we must stay focused and firm no matter what occurs in order to stand with Christ. It is vital that you spend time studying God's word every day of the week if you want to have a better knowledge of Christ. Scripture never goes stale because God's message never changes. Each time you read it, you receive a fresh message from God. And also, you should attend the gathering of brothers and sisters so that you may support one another. We will be able to build one another's faith in this manner. The Lord is going to change your story starting right now, and you won't be able to remember the difficult experiences you've gone through. The reason for this is because we serve a God who is a restorer of all things. You should not be mourning any longer, because Jesus is going to intervene in your circumstance and offer you specific instructions. Hallelujah.
Be aware however, that the way God functions is radically different from the way we see or know. Don't waste time trying to figure out what the Lord wants first. Instead, just do whatever he says. When it comes to God's tactics, the story of Moses in the Bible can teach us a lot. Moses had to flee Egypt quickly because he had slain someone. Consider the possibility that God instructed Moses to return to Egypt in order to rescue the Israelites from slavery there. If Moses had not been concerned about his own safety, he would not have said no. In addition, there were persistent reports that Moses was a bad public speaker. Yet, the Lord encouraged him to comply with his commandments. It is appropriate to express gratitude to the Lord for Moses' willingness to listen. As seen throughout the Bible, God's guidance and involvement enabled Moses to complete his task successfully. As far as we could discern, God only talked to Moses and Moses alone. God was on Moses' side at every stage. All of this is possible in your life if you only give God permission to do it. You could be confused by his approach, but believe me when I tell that putting your faith in Jesus to guide your actions will turn out to be the best decision you've ever made. It was a life-changing event for Moses. For example, he had the ability to convert his stick into a snake, and then back into a stick again. Also, when the Israelites couldn't find any other route to cross the Red Sea, God divided the sea, and, among other things, fetching water from the rock for the people to drink. God blessed and equipped Moses on his journey to the promised land, enabling him to overcome every hurdle that came in his way. In addition, you will not make a mistake if God is the one who is guiding your movements, because God is all-knowing and all-wise. And just as you know that he is the creator of all things, he has complete control over your situation. Furthermore, you will not make any mistake. And as a result also, you will be rewarded with several blessings. God's intention is for you to be elevated to a position of responsibility, in power, somewhere where one may be valued and thrive. God will lead you to new heights that you never thought were possible in your life. Up to the present day, Abraham's blessings have been deemed to be ours on a daily basis. After all, we knew that the Lord had undoubtedly blessed him and had designated him as the ancestor of all mankind. He were formed in the image and likeness of God, and he did it with great care and love. He understands precisely what you need and what you want in life. If you choose good above evil, you will get the result you seek. He won't attempt to force his compassion on you until you give him permission to do so. That's why he said, I've placed the decision between life and death in your hands. As a result, the final choice is up to you. God on the other hand, exhorts us to go with the flow and make a choice that will save our life. What a lovely God our God is. He is really amazing. Hallelujah. It is a promise that he will never fail you if you place your trust in him. Keep your eyes fixed on the Lord and not on your situation. Consider Jesus to be the originator and consummator of your faith. Do not forget that whatever committed to God is guaranteed to remain unspoiled and unfailing. God's mercy will bring you to a point where you will be blessed in every aspect of your life. At certain cases, being in the right place at the right moment is all that is required. Because if you're at the wrong place at the wrong moment, you may be unable to receive your blessings. The opposite is true if you are at the proper area. Everything will be easy for you. It is imperative that you achieve your aim of entering the promised land. God will direct you there if you have Jesus in your life. God will organize your actions so that they fall into the correct place in order for you to reap the rewards. You won't have to be concerned about running out of resources anymore since God will give whatever you need. You will never lack anything good in this life because you will always be surrounded by blessings and will continue to grow from strength to strength and from glory to glory. May the Lord fill you with joy as a result of your redemption and renew your spirit. I pray that the Lord abundantly rewards you in Jesus' name. Amen.